to replace the left or right wheel on bob sweep putt hair, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, and a new wheel. Before starting any repair on Bob, turn his side power switch off and remove his dust bin. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface and remove his main brush using the flathead screwdriver. Keep all removed screws and parts safely aside, as they may be needed for later reassembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the six screws on Bob's underside that hold him together. One screw on each side of the front wheel, one screw to the right of the main brush motor, one screw on each side of the dustbin, the final screw is in the brush compartment. Bob's cover is no longer secured, so hold the top and bottom together as you carefully flip him back onto his wheels. Grip Bob's cover from the back and lift up to expose the mainboard. Slide the power inlet down and tuck it somewhere safe to avoid compressing its wires. To detach Bob's cover completely, disconnect four circuit plugs. Two at the lower edge of the mainboard, near the wheels, and two more at the top edge near the bumper. To access the left or right wheel, you must first remove the wheel cover. Remove the six screws securing the cover onto Bob. Two are next to the main board. You may wish to move the main brush motor and power switch out of the way to reach the six screws securing the cover to Bob. Two are on either side of the left wheel one above and one below. Lastly, two more screws are on the right wheel, one above and one below. Once all six screws are removed, lift the wheel cover and unplug it from the main board. Place it aside for now. Be sure to keep the wheel springs safely on hand for later reassembly. Lift the wheel up and disconnect its circuit plug from the main board. Press the side tab and pull up to unplug. If there is any glue holding the wiring on Bob, use a screwdriver to carefully break it off. Now place the new wheel in the open space. You will have to prop up Bob's back a few inches to insert the wheel. If you are replacing the left wheel, feed the wires around the edge of Bob's bottom before attaching the circuit plug to the main board. Ensure the wires are not stuck under the main brush motor or sticking out of place. If you are replacing the right wheel, feed the wires around the closest screw post underneath the main board. Then pull the wires back out before attaching the circuit plug to the main board. Replace the two springs on top of the wheels. Plug the wheel cover back into the main board. Clear the area of any wires that may become compressed underneath the wheel cover. Then carefully align the cover with the screw posts on Bob. Make sure the springs on top of the wheels do not move out of place as you push the cover down. Install all six screws previously removed from the wheel cover. There are two just behind the main board, two around the left wheel, and two around the right wheel. Reattach all four circuit plugs connecting Bob's cover to the main board. Two connect to the top edge of the main board, and two more connect to the bottom edge. Remember to slide the power inlet back into its space on Bob's cover. Align the cover's edges precisely. 
Then flip bob over onto a flat surface. Reinstall all six screws previously removed from Bob's underside. Ensure that no wires are compressed in the main brush compartment or visible at the edges of the bumper. If so, take a step back and lift the cover to tuck the wires into the appropriate spaces. Install the main brush and dustbin before your next use and Bob is completely reassembled. Turn the side power switch back on and congratulations! You've just replaced Bob's wheel. Happy cleaning!